Hello YouTube, welcome back to FSX Steam. It's been a while since my last video, but today we're going to take A2A's C182 Skylane to the skies and we're going to practice some real world manoeuvres. The things you do generally if you're doing your private pilot's license. I have got a few hours under my belt, none of which have been in a Cessna, all been in a Tomahawk. I'm not a qualified pilot, so don't shout at me if it's not 100% right. But we're going to go up today, we're going to do straight and level flight. So looking at the main aspects of flying today, some things might not be correct. Are your cow flaps opening, carb heat being used, etc, etc. I'm going to avoid all of that today. We're just going to get in the air, do a few straight and level. Uh, turns, climbs, descents, glides. And we'll take it from there. So we're on the ground at East Midlands. Nice day, real world weather. Active sky next, running the weather with Rex for the textures. We've got FTX Global and FTX England. We're in the ground textures, and we've got UK 2000 East Midlands Airport. Okay, so let's go. Flaps at 10 degrees. Cow flaps open. Takeoff trim set. Necessary lights on. We're ready to go. Okay, so takeoff, we need to be looking at a fuel flow of about 15 gallons per hour no more we're getting pulled to the left as you would do due to slipstream that's 60 knots and we're in the air ok bring the flaps up just ease back on the throttle a little bit. Okay, and whilst we're in the climb, we're going to trim. So what we do is power is set to where we want to, and then we've got the attitude of the aircraft. So we want to nose up, and then we trim to take off the pressure on the stick, which in real life is a lot easier than it is in the sim because obviously you don't have that feeling behind your hands. For those of you that are doing your private pilot's license, it is very, very recommended that you go and have a look at A2A's aircraft if you haven't already, as the simulation is second to none. There is no better aircraft out there. You can break these aircraft. They need to be maintained. And you can do a walk-around check, which at some point in the future I will do a video of startups, cold and dark. But when I when I'm doing my lessons the first thing I did was up for straight and level flight it was the first lesson I did there was no going through startup checks and all that sort of stuff it was in the air my startup checks I think came in my fourth or fifth hour if I remember correctly you do your walk around checks you'd start up procedures and that would be then from then on every lesson afterwards you'd then you'd then do them okay so we're going to level off here so again Attitude. When you're leveling off, it's attitude first. APT, attitude, there. So we hold it there. We won't, we're struggling to hold it there. Hold it there. Wait for the speed to come up to where we want it. So around 110 knots in this case. There's a big difference between the dashboard and the horizon. On the Tomahawk, it's three fingers. On this, you can see, even though it's not real life, it's a lot, lot more. Just nose down a bit more. Okay, we're at 110 knots, so we just power off. That obviously help bring the nose down too. And we'll trim this off now. So again, trimming is more difficult on a simulator because it is a more of a guessing game. Okay, so we are drifting to the left. If I let go of the stick here, we're left drifting to the left. So we'll sort of rudder out once we've got our cruise speed sorted. Which is about there. 
can't be too picky trying to trim on a simulator because as I said it is a lot more difficult than it is in real life okay so that's straight and level flight I'm not touching the stick, we're going to drift a little bit, one because of slipstream which we can correct through rudder trim that's hard work that is, you, again you haven't got the feel so it's a lot harder to do Okay, we're just drifting again, so you just trim, you're forever trimming an aircraft, but once you've got it perfect, once you hit a pocket of air, it all goes out of shape anyway, so it is management, that's what it is, that's what it's about, that's why you're the pilot, because you're managing the aircraft, so what we're going to do here, we trim pretty well, there's nothing too bad with that, I'm not touching the stick right now, we're flying straight and level, okay, so for a climb, power, and my dog's barking, that's doing my head in. Okay, so first off, power. So we go full power. The nose will come up. Okay, so we want to be climbing about there. So now we hold the attitude at the climb that we want. Aircraft attitude. P-A-T. Okay, so now we throttle back. That's where we want to be. Just a little bit. And then we trim. Okay, so once you've trimmed the aircraft, which we've pretty much got it on there now, 110 knots cruise, 11 gallons per hour of fuel being used, which is recommended to be 9 and 14, so we're alright. We've got a slight drop, but that's going to come up and down, you don't take too much notice of that. On a light aircraft, your displays are secondary. VFR, big giveaway. Visual is your first. And displays are your secondary. Okay, so now we're straight level. So now we want to go into a glide or a descent. So power off, PAT. Power back. Carb heat would be on, obviously. Let's close the cow flaps. Okay, so we find the descent path that we want. So let's go for about that, about 800. Just try and trim the aircraft now. too much Okay, so that is trimmed. I've not got any pressure on the back. I'm just correcting the levels of the wings. And that's trimmed. Okay, now we'll power back up. PAT, find our power. Just take the rudder trim off now. I don't actually know if it made any difference, but. Okay, power, attitude. Just take it back here, it needs to be about 15 gallons per hour on the climb. And just throttle back a little bit. Okay, so we want to be there. I'll climb at 1,000 feet per minute. Should be fine. We trim the aircraft. And that is the aircraft trimmed as we climb. Okay, a bit more correction needed on the trim. You can give it some a little bit more throttle. You can balance the trim out with the throttle, that's fine. Okay, so we're trimmed at the minute at 500 feet per minute. That's slowly climbing. Obviously as we hit different air pockets it's going to climb anyway. Okay, right, let's level off. 
Remember, when we're leveling off, it's attitude power trim, so we level off to where we want. Okay, I can bring the power down now as we approach 110 knots. Remember, last time at 110 knots, 11 gallons per hour was pretty much spot on, so we're there now on the power. Trim the aircraft down. And that's it, we're trimmed, we're level. There is going to be minor corrections, there's always going to be because of the air. There's not a lot we can do about things like that. But you're not going to get it spot on all the time. So that is the basics of straight and level flight. The reason I put the climbs and glides in there is so that we can, again, retrim the aircraft for straight and level flight. But that is the basics to it. So I'm going to turn around and head back and park this little bad boy up at East Midlands Airport. And feel free to put those practices in into your sim. At the end of the day, you can't fly tin to you flying one of these. Anyway, till the next episode, guys. Catch you later.